Hello, everybody. And you here? I hope so. Uh, but yeah. Welcome. This one, this is a bit different. You know, since not really playing much game, but it's still something I really wanted to do. Because for those of you who don't know, I am a huge fan of the Xenoblade series, especially 1 and 2. X is kind of like, eh, but it was still fun. But yeah, I figured we could kind of do like a fun, like movie kind of thing. Where you just kind of go through the cutscenes of the game trying to experience the story. Especially for those of you who have not played this yet and who don't plan on playing it. Because even if you don't plan on playing it since this is a long game, uh, the story is absolutely still worth your time. You'll definitely enjoy it. So we can kind of do that. Make some jokes along the way. Yes, I am indeed really feeling it. And yeah. Also, I like to have first a moment of silence for um, our fallen brothers in the Ardanian army. It's been a nice time knowing them. And uh, we are sad to see them go. So just a moment of silence quick for them. Well, that was nice. The music even gave me a moment of silence too. So yeah, we are about ready to start. Also for, um, I believe I put it in the title, but I can't exactly remember. We're gonna be going through chapters one through three today. Uh, it takes a decent amount of time, but hopefully over a stretch of a few streams, we'll end up doing the entire story. If those you, if you're interested, I'd definitely be down to do that. And also for the chat, especially, Please don't post spoilers to this game, to things that we haven't seen yet, or to the first game, or even to X, even though there's not much story there. <laughs> but please don't do that, because these are still people, there's going to be people in here who've never played 2, who never played the first game, and experienced this for the first time. So it's like, it's a good story. You'll enjoy it. So we're going to start now. This is the beginning of Chapter 1. Chapter 1, what's it called? Encounters. And this... The cutscenes all have names, but I'm not gonna like say them. But let's go. Let's start. I won't talk too much, also. So you can kind of soak up the story, you know? Bring this in. Also, while it's doing this, uh, if my mic is popping again, or there's any other like weird problems going on with the stream, let me know. Because I kind of actually know how to fix them. Look at this. Monolith soft. It's like we're watching a movie. How's this? I should have gotten popcorn. Oh, I forgot to refill my water. Oh well. We'll do that later. <laughs> Yay. It's the game. How's this? Think you can take me? As we dramatically pan downwards into the cloud sea. Oh wait, first just to the cloud sea. It's your boy. It's been a while since I've done this too. A month and a half since I saw this last. Let's see what's down here. Oh, it's anime. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh, actually. I'm gonna pull up the chat on my phone so I could I don't have to reach over there to look at it every time. So what's this? So it's, it's a box. Maybe that's got the pre-patch Ardanian soldiers in it. <laughs> Sad. Oh. There we go. A weeb stream? Okay, it's only it's only kinda weeby. This game is very anime. <laughs> As you'll see.
I don't know, it's just kind of like watching a movie, but I said I'm chilling with you guys. Going up. It'd be cool being as how someone is beating the game, like looking for like hints towards the end in like the earlier cutscenes like these. I won't let you know if I find any of those because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I'll be looking. <laughs> you can finally hear it. You're done! Coming for the box. <laughs> I miss those guys. Like why'd they have to patch that out? <laughs> Nice crotch shot. All right, there we go. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. <laughs> even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Thomas right? Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A That's little the business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. And here's your battle introduction. I didn't expect yeah. that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. Yeah, this is the part where it cuts to gameplay and no worries, you fight him. But obviously we're not going to be doing like gameplay interjections here. I think so we know what's for lunch. I'll just kind of tell you guys what happens gameplay wise in between cutscenes. So that happened. Next up, go... Next cutscene. Hopefully, like the little thumb, the cutscene thumbnails don't spoil too much in between cutscenes. An entire horizon of yeah. white. Between cutscenes, we beat that guy, and that's about it. With its heart, the world tree, piercing the heavens. With my dreams. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young. Everyone in all rest lived on the tree together with our divine father the architect Ooh. According to the tales it was a bountiful land And the people there Held the power to command even the heavens themselves They called that paradise Elysium But then one day We were cast out Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. Also, just so All you guys we know, know we were forced also, to thank you for following. To live here I can't see that name very well, but it's well, just showed it up again on the screen. But was pretty hard. I skipped but the cutscene because it was just like the same as the first cutscene, just without the credits on the screen. The so I didn't actually skip anything. Took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. You see, like your backstory. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans, and we've lived in harmony with them ever since. Don't want to drown in the clouds. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. That is a very anime-looking face. Are oh, ready for the best eating animation in gaming? The brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Ah. Right up. Here we go. Okay, it doesn't look that bad from that angle, but then you look over here, it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's kind of like the Xenoblade charm. Weird animations, but they look a lot better in this game, too. Oh, would you look at that? How nice. I think that one just died, actually. Yeah.
Oh, pronounce no, my name, no. Pegs, please. Is that Be El Meki 09? Did I get that right? <laughs> I wonder. Infinite sandwich. If anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of hey, like Gramps. a sense of urgency. Yeah, it's the story that the Titans are dying. Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. Not Unicorn Gramps? There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say, for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist, this Elysium? And the creator who said to live there. A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace with no need for fighting. Let's go. Oh, 5,000 chapters later. For everyone, even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. He's probably masturbating. His architect just whapping it up there. I want to get up there to do it with him. <laughs> All right. Back to making money. Yeah, Rex's voice isn't too bad. Well, his normal talking voice I is think fine. This hole but should be enough for today. Yeah, screaming. He doesn't do too well Oi, screaming. Gramps. Shulk did a lot better with that for a back in the first game. The Argentum Trade Guild. You're planning on selling it now. It's getting toward my bedtime. He goes to Don't sleep. He just kind of drowns. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Damn straight. <laughs> when Pags is the architect. I'll take it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Giant animal beast sex. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't want to see, like, two titans doing the do, you know? And here we are, in the Argentum Trade Guild. Look at all those little guys. And their derpy titan balloon. It's a fun place. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going alright, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Also, just so you guys long. know, like, well, morning is 15 gold kind of like any RPG, I'll have you gold the beginning is kind of slow. All right, later. Hey, hold like, on. You know I can't do credit. I guess like the beginning of this game, like Don't these cutscenes will be a bit slow, but like especially by the end of chapter one, things will really start heating up. So, no one. If you feel any boredom, don't worry. It does get better, but. Personally, I enjoy this stuff. So yeah, this is um, gameplay. Sh uh, I almost called it Shulk. Uh, Rex is going into the trade guild to buy stuff. Awesome. But first, what's this? This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. I wish I could bang it. Argento's Titan is adorable. Yeah, it's it. Pretty good. All right, next. Hard bargain. Hey, Mecha Swool's here. I heard he's also a big fan of this game. <laughs> if more Ardain had sex, would it be bestiality? No, it would just be sad because all you could think about then is the soldiers. 
and their own voices. <laughs> when you're just doing it, and you hear it shout, don't forget me. <laughs> what? That's it? It's life, man. There's still more than I give to non-friend. Also, this is if not fun. If you bring They're military great. supplies, then you get good <laughs> price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. If they go to war, that's well, a lot of money. Well, what men think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. <laughs> Could be a good way to earn pretty money. I think you can take me. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Rex is discount Anywho, slug. where were we? Feels the same role, I'll take you know. your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb, dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge Is he the one hey, hey. behind her? Alright, I'm counting on oh. you. Roger, pleasure doing business. That was mean. Hey, Ricky's the best knock on. Yeah, I can agree with that. Tatsu is kind of repetitive because he had like the same scene and acts over and over again. But, um. Yeah, Tora is pretty good too. He's got some good moments. But, Ricky is like the classic. Yeah, think you can f me? Also, I guess in this game they decided to add like the trait where the knock on just say meh over and over again. That wasn't in any, pre any hey, previous Rex. games, but that's kind of like their Repeating. thing. Been a while. Rex looking high spirits. Also, his I voice doesn't see. like yes <laughs> fit with the knock on at all. Been worse. So you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way... Plus with their broken speech, you just like... come from Fonset Village in Lefferian like Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman also, um, doing the rest of the cutscenes? By name. Probably. As long the as they're interest, which For I'll me. probably do it anyway. Uh, we'll be doing... Well, we could do it like a each weekend kind of thing. I think it like within four streams we could probably do the all the cutscenes in the game. But this one will just go up to chapter three and through chapter three, like to the end of chapter three, and we could do more in future streams. So next one, things start getting interesting. Got some new character introductions in this one. Actually, this is one I watched earlier today to like test cutscene things. So. I remember what this one's like. Also, let me know if I miss any like subs or bits or anything. I still gotta figure out a good um like kind of setup for doing this. But look who it is. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banna, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. I love how he rolls well, his R's. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh yes, he's got strippers. Me hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I, wish I, could I have a dincy wincy thing to ask of a Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. A hundred thousand? A hundred thousand? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing. Can buy himself an entire Argentine tree deal for gold himself? In total. Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh. Yeah, right. Also, um... um, what kind of job is it? You really have Soul and any other mods in here? Of course, I'll be fine. Uh, if somebody is like posting now, spoilers say, in the chat here, crew will for this game or the first the game, uh, Bring like, them remove in. the message and give them a little time out. Sir? We don't want any like future spoilers in here. I'll mention those when we get up to those points. Here's some new characters. A woman.
He looks like too happy to be here. And here's Edgelord Mick Shadow the Hedgehog. Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. When you have to say the word so with like five ships. mouth movements. It showed up in an uncharted area, but it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. They only want, like, 11-year-old anime Strong boys. Genius. How old Should is Rex, anyway? Rex. I know he's he's <laughs> under 18 because they make jokes the about right him not choice. being able to legally drink. <laughs> or something like that. Maybe he's under 21. A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're going to have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly yeah. underground. She looks a little bit older. What are you trying to say? Rex still looks pretty, like, <clears throat> child, Rex, you know? Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. He's 15. Oh, okay. What have I told That's you about speaking for me? Shut Drop you. it, Nia. I mean, Shulk wasn't no, too old, much point. older either. In I think he was case, like 18 or 19. It should be easy enough to make sure. What? Oh, watch out. This is worth a hundred thousand gold. Ah. There's some really what well done fight scenes in this later well, on. Well, well. That's just like a little taste you Malos, get, you know? What good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself. He's didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing. The lady's name sword. is Nia. And the guy in the you mask did is Jin. Think it though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. It's like ready to stab. Where'd him. you learn those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. <laughs> playtime well, is a titan skill. beating up a I'll child. Give you that. Guts too. Gramps is a savage. Kid. You better work hard. Yeah, and Shulk was 18. So they're pretty similar. <laughs> Same, Nia. <laughs> and then Dromark, as courteous as ever. Ma, ma, ma! Friends are such rowdy bunch. Here is it's a time dance. to go shopping. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent Ooh, vessel for you there. You got it. I more meant uh, Jin was more the edge lord instead of Malice, but yeah, Malice is kind of edgy. What's the next one? Oh, let's see what we got. So there's that, you get the money, you can kind of do whatever you want, Argentum, and then... Where does this pick up again? I'll try to interject with like what happens gameplay-wise between cutscenes. <laughs> you pull that one out of your ass. It's a good quote. All right, that so about yeah. covers it. He goes right, back to I'll Gramps to kind of explain Should the, be back in a day the situation. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! <laughs> Kids these days. Am I right? That was a pretty short cutscene. Uh, next one. Behold the Maelstrom. That's probably the, um, the big ship that we saw on the dock when we first got here. I'm about to fight stuff, Gramps. Let, let's go. Yeah, the animations are like wheeling out the weirdish kind of in them. Sure Xenoblade games, but... pockets. Yeah. Gawking at a boat. What are you? Twelve. Wait, 15 no, actually. 
Oh. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're going to swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. Oh, what, you let Daddy. <laughs> now look whose mouth's hanging open. And then we got, like, actually Oops. the adults in here. We're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. Okay, yeah, this is this isn't the the one we saw in the dock before the big black ship. This is just the maelstrom. It's kind of a ship. Next up, welcome aboard the maelstrom. Swapping the poop deck on the maelstrom. Eating cheese off the maelstrom. We got a whole bunch of cutscenes to watch about the maelstrom. That's how it works, right? I know, I'd eat cheese off the maelstrom. <laughs> oh, there we go. Argenta has the best, like, derpy looking type. Like, look at those, like, like ball guys just hanging off the top of the deck. <laughs> They're just straight up balloons. Like, this is what we use Titans for. Oh, I was gonna say, like, is that the only part of the cutscene? Like, really? <laughs> the maelstrom at night. <laughs> yeah, where, where's Mr. Krabs? Oh, what? <laughs> Hold on, what? What? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen, right? We don't. We haven't even seen Tori yet. What was that? Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Rex died. The end. <laughs> Oops. Well. <laughs> just take a moment for that to soak in. What just happened? <laughs> so, next. <laughs> Something in common. We're gonna get some bonding with Nia in, in here. <laughs> hey, yeah, that was like in game i have honestly no clue i was some sort of weird glitch but i'm glad it happened <laughs> and glad it was on stream but yeah we're up on like the crow's nest of the maelstrom now hmm. oh that's the black ship from the harbor is it following us hmm. it's way too cold up here you I love you know I've got a name. It's Nia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. And then the joke like, why aren't you there? He's too young to drink. It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager then. Are we gonna go through the salvager code? That? Swim like a fish and yes. drink like one too. That's the salvager's code. The salvager's code. Pfft, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. But it's fun. The Ooh. world tree. I don't get it. It's glowy. You know... You find all sorts of things digging through salvage. <laughs> some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But most of it trash. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, that if you were tired of the Caribbean day, 6 looks real weird. Hey, Dincher. I saw one go under just the other day. Welcome to Weeb the Movie. Big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out day by day and sooner or later we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea how but tragic there, Elysium is waiting for us <laughs> seriously kid Elysium don't tell me you believe that gaff so that's uh, why you're a salvager it's just a lie for children and that there is just an overgrown shrub if there's well, a way a to get up, tree. maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? 
Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that. Hey, what Isn't if Elysium sank living? too? Nobody can tell you. And everybody's shit out of luck. <clears throat> and before the world tree is just like a giant Everyone, titan. Huh? What? Don't worry, I'm not spoiling anything. I'm just I making always jokes. Thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you. Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, this is hey, just so you guys know in the chat. Arts. No spoilers yeah. for this game or the first game. He basically game. raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not Keep the spoilers like. to a minimum. At least until we get to parts in this game, then obviously you can I'm talk about stuff sure we've already seen. Drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds alright. Huh. <laughs> and you're alright too, kid. <laughs> the World Tree's Nature's iCloud storage. Not that different from me. Oh, they're bonding. Oh my goodness. And now it's raining. Although aren't like rain is created by clouds, but they're in clouds. We're in position. Oh. All personnel report to stations. Salvage team, suit up and proceed to hatch. That sounds like the more ordained guys. <laughs> Oh, it's doing it again. <laughs> I love that. That is wonderful. Next, into the depths. We're going down. <laughs> Reading Ryan, Bo. Yeah, where's Ryan in this game? You can't have a rainbow without Ryan, baby. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our taste, so, so we'll be good. using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin it's with attacking the force. He's late. <laughs> Get into position. The falling in the void thing is great. I we pay your low lives a lot, so don't screw it up. Since when is Nia in charge? You smoke so and so. <laughs> we can't curse because this is a Nintendo game. Even though they do curse like several times later on. <laughs> yeah, let's play a quick game and let's spot the main character. The only guy who looks different. Oh, is that gonna get put his helm on? Or oh, there he goes. One of these are not like the other. We gotta distinguish them so that you know which one's the guy. Also, he's the one not using the it? drop things. But look what we found. A giant metal piece of garbage. I told you most of it was garbage. It looks pretty ancient. Is that the propulsion mechanism? I've hmm. never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? Argentum did. A little knob on. And try to lift it up then. Main characters, Dinter's iCloud storage. Wait, what? The Nintendo Labo prototype? Rex is Nintendo Labo. That's the twist. That's the plot twist. Sorry, everybody. Y'all can go home. I spoiled it. Damn, those are some big, big ass balloons. These guys know what they're doing. And now we get to observe it. Check that out. So it does look like the big black ship we saw on the harbor is on the other wow, side of massive. the thing we just kind of dug up. The appearance the matches our reports. Curtain. 
but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed Edgy. to second phase. Here comes everybody's favorite character bond. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I did that. I all do by this myself. for a living, remember? All teams, proceed inside when ready. Right then. <laughs> Let's get moving. You with us. Me? You can Sounds like the snake, kind of. Seriously? Guess he thinks you need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good image. She just has well, like a laughing animation. Don't just stand there. You've got your orders, haven't you? <laughs> Let's go. Now we go inside. And this is where gameplay kicks in. Or not yet. Really soon. Or does it just kind of like tell you where you are? The ancient ship, ooh. It's important, but why? We're about to find out. But that's where gameplay kicks in. And you, it, like, it's like a little dungeon that you go through. And now, next cutscene is what a driver can do, which Rex is not, and everybody else there is. So get fucked. They're just kind of dragging him along for whatever reason. Oh yeah, wait. This is before gameplay kicks in. You get a little mini boss fight against this thing. Let me show you what a driver can do. She said the name of the cutscene. Like, holy shit! So now you go through and investigate the ship. Up next is blown away. So we get a view back at everybody's favorite banner. Does somebody say expand? Okay, yeah, between cutscenes, they all just expand. Okay, no, that was just amazing. So that's how drivers and blades fight. So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. We didn't go into the dungeon yet. We just killed that guy, and now we got another cutscene here. <laughs> nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. <laughs> you too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. You got a giant That's tiger enough with you. yapping, you pair of brats. Let's move. Oh, what an asshole. Kuh. Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. But yeah, didn't you? There's a lot of cutscenes in this game, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of story to get through. Oh, look at that. It's Papoonin. The guy with the really not fitting knob on voice. They make short work of monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well too. Moradain. There's much money to be made from these people. Hmm. <laughs> Mountains of cash. So now we explore them. The gameplay goes into exploring that ship. And now we end up fearsome gatekeeper. For our next cutscene. After some exploring, fighting stuff, and getting deeper and deeper into the ship. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. This says more our day, and I always think of like not planning on letting the old pass, quotes, huh? Sounds like a challenge. You hear the boss fight music? And too bad we don't fight that boss, actually. That's what gameplay happens. Now, after we fight the boss, get to the cutscene called Adam's Crest. What does it mean? Penis indeed. Jin, check this out. There it is. Adam's crest. Adam did that? Ooh. Adam's crest. What does that mean? 
You. Open this door. Touch it. This door will only open to one of you people. One of me? Like what are you talking like about? The most gin talks in Hurry the pre game. We're not paying you to ask dumb questions. He's just an edgelord. What the with hell? A... You can't treat hired like, hands like back. that. Let's see what happens, though. No. Bad workplace we conditions. Good question. Oh, hey. Touch Adam's chest. <laughs> there you go. It was touched. <laughs> so that was a release toggle. Hmm. Say, like, do I have to follow you around all day? <laughs> yeah, don't touch. <laughs> Just as I thought. Wait. There. Open that door, too. Where? I couldn't have possibly have seen that. Oh, look at that. And they're just the most impatient group of people. Let's move. We got a mission, but we don't even know what it is. <laughs> Touch. What do we got? What, what is that thing? Look at that. It's the Monado. And, uh, it's, uh, the Monado's waifu. Girl. Everybody knows this character. Oh, yeah, look at that. They had to. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, it's a girl. Ooh. <laughs> no touching. But what's going on here? They just keep posing questions. And here's everybody else, because Rex decided to go ahead. Look. Yes, no mistaking it. That's it's my wife. Aegis. Or the Aegis, that's who. The Aegis. <laughs> what? Thought detected? Hey, Brett, oh, yeah, don't a, even I'm think about touching that! Huh? Touch. Do I have to follow you around all day? I guess we do. Stab. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Rex dies. And we're only like, we're not even an hour into the stream and he's already dead. But, but why? Don't take it personally. It's an act of mercy. Get fucked. At least you won't be alive to see what's coming. Well, that was easy. Also, Rip Minato. I was just kidding about that. <laughs> Jin is cold steel. Uh, what a waste of time. Jin! Why did you kill him? Why? What did Rex ever do to you? Jin! That's the thing. He didn't do anything. So why? There's no, no bad about Let's killing him. Let's ship out the Aegis. Nia, call the Monoceros. We just leave the body here, right? And now things are getting weird. Oh. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, hmm. What could be happening? That looks like waifu. Hmm. It's like, ding dong, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, next one. Resonance of the Heart. I believe it was the name. I don't like looking at the thumbnails and titles of the cutscenes too much because some of them might spoil little bits, you know? Especially one I have in mind, but we won't be there for a while. It's like, hey, check it out. That's a nice piece of ass. Uh, excuse me. 
It's such a mournful sound. Oh? Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not... Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? So Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? <laughs> the Praetorium? Uh... Oh, sorry, where microphone. Where are we? This is weird. This like... is... Oh, yeah, by the way. Elysium. Welcome to Elysium. A land where long ago... Yeah, it's a little Mankind weird, though. Mankind lived in harmony with their Some, like, the, like, the main characters have, like, it's a British where... accent, but then some of them, like, Pyra, have a... We were born. Like, a Malos, too, have, like, an American yeah. accent. Really? Sometimes I don't get it. But, yeah, welcome to Elysium, everybody. We're here, we did it, end the game, we made it. <laughs> everybody in the chat is just like, touch, touch. Is that a core crystal? You're a blade. Rex is Scottish, oops. My name is that's Pyra. It. By the way, yeah, that's what? Pyra. Oh, right. She's pretty M important. Mine is... I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? Just now, when we came into contact. When you touched me. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... <laughs> killed. You, you got the stab. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. It's pretty cool, actually. Jin. Through the... It's like, yep, yeah, well, you dead. And now, existential crisis of being dead. I remember now. That bastard stabbed me. Oh, man. This is bad. Everyone in the guild is in danger. Where does he no, think he's going? Wait. Oh. I can't do anything if I'm dead. Titan's fucked. If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass. He's like, this is just kind of entertaining. <laughs> Came into Thanks. contact. I have a request. Yeah, I guess Rex kind of did get Aerith. Take me to Elysium. Except it wasn't from like above; Elysium. it was from behind. But, but isn't that still behind? Yeah. You know, like where the blade this came through is pretty similar. Bon Katana, you know. An ancient. Jin is Sephiroth confirmed. Of what once was. The real Elysium lies in your world, atop the World Tree that rises from the heart of all rest. I know, it doesn't Memory. seem like a myth anymore. So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm hey, this dead. Is, this is fake Remember? Elysium. How can I help Tell if fake. I'm not breathing? I will give you... Oh, are we keeping a swear count now, by the way? That way. Hey, that was two. You can be revived. <laughs> Kick that guy's driver. ass. Well, they say arse, as the but driver, it's pretty much pronounced Aegis. as ass. The yeah. driver of the Aegis. Pyra's gonna make him a driver. Oh. What? What the? What will you do, Rex? Oh, welcome, the person who just followed us. All that. Really welcome your home? to the to the crew. It is. Glad to have you here. And it really exists, Rex. I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We By just living in Elysium and leaving everybody else behind. In fear. <laughs> then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. We're already there, I'll though. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. Trust now place your hand on my chest. Yeah, now, now this is the part you all have been waiting what? for. Are you sure? Also, thanks for following Luigi Sonic 9. Welcome. It's like, are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dong face ensues. See, to, to our young fellows in the chat, that's what happens when you touch a chest. You, uh... This happens. And then you come back from the dead? Ta-da! 
Yeah, Rex isn't actually dead. Like, who do you think we are? Like, like this is an attack on Titan where people just kind of die really soon. We back, boys? I guess you could say he kind of has a scar now. Oh, and also... Yeah, that's pretty anime. <laughs> Yeah, that's a kind of like a scar. He <laughs> touch a bob. <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti. So they took Pyra. Nia, and them. Oh. And like what? It's about to get hairy, boys. The price boys. for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we have finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it. The better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came it's here? Like, have they driven with? into your head? Nia. The differences no, in their moral compasses that... yet? Oh, you understand? For the love of. Fine. I'm not saying exactly myself. a nice guy. Oh. What the? You gotta hate when you're just carrying a coffin around and he catches on fire. It's like, ooh, flashy entrance. <laughs> yeah, Rex is great as screaming, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, he back. You and that sword can't be. It's kind of low to stab a man in the back. You bloody psychopath. Pyra, here. Cover me. Got it. Jay, okay, she kind of needs to leave him to me. Ah! <gasps> I don't think he ever appears in the game, Sorry, at least for kid. me. Or this is like the line from the one trailer where he's like, Take this. Power for And people just made it to a meme because how weird it sounded. This is as far as I wonder where he says that. Because I never heard it. Yeah! Oh, empire has got the Naruto run. He's in backflips. Just leave it out. Give it a rest, Marlos. Can't you see you stupid child? I touch you the moon. Don't make me laugh. Wait, this is a pretty good action this scene coming up now. Made himself the Aegis' driver! The Aegis' driver? Rex is... In case you can tell, that's an, uh, that's an important thing in this story. You are done! Here we go, boys. Oh, we need my old Smash 4 main? Yeah, like, we're, Thanks, we're Shulk Pyra. in this. You're welcome. He's pretty cool. Now, don't let up! Yeah, Rex for a Smash yeah. 1. Ha. Ha. Ah. Everybody! Yeah, he does oh, have a, no. an interesting time yelling. Yeah. I like how they have a knockbox out with themselves yeah. figures, too. I don't think so. Bully, over here! Yeah. Oh, here we go. Burning. So how Rex knows how to, like, scream the same thing Pyra does. Like, well, that just happened. I hope you explored enough of the ancient ship because... You. Uh, Rats. You're not getting back How in. How can a nobody like you? Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I know what he's going on. You. That's a wallpaper right there. And then I'm pretty sure... 
right now is the start of a boss fight against Malice, as evidenced by the music. So next, Crossroads of Destiny. This is the last cutscene of Chapter One. Let's see how this plays out, everybody. So this is after you beat Malos in a fight, and everything's still on fire. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat to control the Aegis like that. You hey, don't spin me on my line. Ha! Jeez. Don't get okay, cocky. Okay, so Malice's blade is named Sever. Understood. I always forget about him. What? Oh, now we got Nia joining the fight. <laughs> yeah, up this work count. Thanks. Get out of the way, Nia. Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child. Nia, don't stop. I don't think you <laughs> quite mind comprehend your Just position. Around. I get it, but you're starting to piss me off. Oh, does that count? Does that count? Is that uh, swear count four? <laughs> I think this counts. Can somebody update that. No, it doesn't count. Depends, I guess, what you consider as where. Yeah, we can include it anyway. You're pretty shocked for someone who's only just woken up. Pirate! Takes me back to 500 years ago. And then you're like, what? 500 years? Appearance. I'm guessing your goal is <laughs> Elysium. That is our dream. Then I have no choice but yeah, to stop. Yeah, this whole stop last cutscene of this chapter is like introducing like 50 questions. Trust me, I was really confused when I first got to this point too. Oh, well. <laughs> hello, Nia. And yes. One of our mods in here is named Nia, and there's also a character named Nia, so he's considered the same person. <laughs> Rip Pyra. You're right. More or less. Oh, now he's fine with touching her without like getting weird eyes. Also, it is Kanan that Jormark ate the bullets, and he's fine. And also, um, the bad lip sync is because this, well, it, the, the lip syncing is a lot better if you do the Japanese audio. That's what it was built for. They didn't change it when they did the English um, audio localization. So you just gotta kind of deal with it. It does look good in Japanese, though, from what I've been told. You're a tough one, kid. But there's only one way this can end. Oh, Fire the cannons. The bam bam rockets. Oh. Never mind. What's that? Oh yeah, check this out. It's your boy Gramps. Gramps! Y'all thought he was just an old dude. <laughs> Lip sync level Sonic Adventure boy. Oh god. I'd say it's at least a little better than that. But Sonic Adventure 1 was designed for English vocals. And it was still terrible. Like, oh man. And is that... Malos? Azura. Yeah, there's like 50 more questions for you. They recognize each other. Gramps has a different name? Let's see. Yeah, he's, he's got it in him. Rex, is this on. OST better than, uh, I guess you mean engage the enemy. Wait, this is the song Counter-Attack 
from this game's soundtrack, which essentially fills the same purpose as Engage the Enemy did in the first game. So they're pretty, pretty similar songs. Here we go, Enemy Joe. Hold on tight. Stop them. Open fire. The Gramps gonna die. Also, there is Rex's house. Rip. Turn her around. Ready to count it. <laughs> it's no use. Oh yeah, I they're missed the following. Oh well. Damn it. Thank you for following. Welcome. Sometimes I miss them, but it's okay. I appreciate it all the same. Turn around. We're I really gotta get another them. monitor or something. That's enough for now. I'll have Akka solve them now. Humph. The edgy humph. That'll have to do. Well, that just happened. That was a lot of plot, and that's chapter one. Say, <laughs> so yeah, that was the first chapter of the game. Hey, if you don't want spoilers to, like, um, upcoming chapters or how many chapters there are, things like that, close your eyes or look away, because I'm going to go switch over to chapter two. Uh, oh, you didn't see anything. There we go. Also, I think I'm going to do just chapters one and two today. Because from my research before, chapter two takes about an hour and a half, and that'll take me to about 11 p.m. And I still haven't eaten dinner, so we'll just do one chapters one and two today, and we'll do more again um probably next time. <laughs> or if we just do like two chapters each stream, that'll still be fine. But yeah, we'll just do this and then call it a day after chapter two. So let's go with the, the cutscene titled "Why Still Alive?" Meh. <laughs> it's no use. And I don't, yeah, well, we could do, um, like, next Saturday or something, continue with Chapter 3. So this will just be Chapters 1 and 2. I hope that's okay. I did put Chapter 3, you know, I'm gonna change the title. And so, Papoonin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can Papoonin not even die properly? What if they ask Banner to repay money? <laughs> huh? Die? Repay who? Meh, none of your business. Anyway, <laughs> tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, what a wonderful Titan idea. and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclas Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papoonin. Storm was very oh. thick, so Papoonin... Papoonin lost them, yes? Yes, but... And then... Run away like coward. Wait, also, Banna is big yes, boy. But He's a very large knock on for whatever reason. Banna not wanting feeble excuses of Papoonin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma. Even pricey Bring insurance banners take out on Maelstrom go to waste. Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclas Sea. I don't even know where Cyclas is. Season, that likely take them to Gormont. You go get Consul Dougal <laughs> on the line immediately. Like wow. Yes, sir. One moment, you please. girl. Oh. What is she doing? He's like bigger Why, than. If it oh. isn't German <laughs> Dougal. What he, an this guy's good. Pleasure. May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals. <laughs> now he got a, a mech and count and a cocoon count. And selling the to the <laughs> back in Morardain. Absolutely <laughs> sublime. Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? Uh, yeah, what if he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. <laughs> oh? What's going on? Listen up. We got a lot of fishies, you know. <laughs> yeah, Mez, 10. <laughs> if somebody can actually keep an accurate Mac counter throughout this entire game, I will be very impressed, because they say that stuff a lot. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> He's like, what a sight to wake up to, am I right? Pyra? Oh, thank goodness. You aren't <laughs> injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine. I, think I like it down here. Why? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a titan of some kind. A titan? Just as Banna guests. We are on the titan of Gormot. Where's Gramps? Ania? Oh yeah, where is Gramps? <laughs> nope. We're alone. All alone, you know what that means? We gotta in there. find them. <laughs> they can't be far. Okay. Oh yeah, like where's Rex's helmet? I didn't notice until he like looked over at it that he was missing his helmet. So I think that's it for that cutscene. Yeah, then we cut to gameplay of oh, looking for Gramps and the uh, draw mark. And now the cutscene: Gramps' fate. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. Hurry, get to him quick. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can keep up the mech counter, like, even after Grumps! we meet some more Nalbon characters. <laughs> yeah, I'll be really impressed, but. It is good to see you uninjured. Oh, jeez, right. he's got, like, spears in him. How awful. Where did the spears Hold come on. from? I should They're have just firing herbs. guns at him. You are kind, but... No amount of human medicine would suffice. Hmm. But no. Wait, not my boy. This is my fate. I, I can't help it. Get ready for the anime I... crying. No parting is forever. Oh, okay, so the monstrous did fire up the spears. When the flow of the ether will set. <laughs> the big like mouth expansion he does. His lips just kind of like, ooh. The days with you were the best I ever had. <laughs> Gramps rhymed. It again, Rex. It's no use. He's dead. Gramps. Quick, capture him and form him Gramps. into like a ball of clay or something out of like... The ether particles flying around. Sad. It's up to the saddest enemy does. I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? Hmm. <laughs> He's talking in his head. Rex. <laughs> Rex. Grams. <laughs> Rex. Like some of these don't line up. But what in the world? <laughs> hey, would you take a look at that? Nah, if this is an anime, I don't know what is. Small boy. Grams? How is that? It can't be. Use your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, well... Not really, no. I am so confused right now. <laughs> yeah. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval state. Yeah, this is just baby well, That's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, it's super Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Oh, it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your own self? Like, the little guy. Ooh, question. No more With, um, than three hundred years. Are they an old man Th voice. Three hundred years. But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's oh, true. Oh, gotta go. Goodbye. But what about Hope you enjoyed. Do I have to live in the streets? Let's make sure y'all are back here on Thursday, because we got something special for you mean this coming Thursday hey, on the Twitch channel. Ooh, boots. 
It's a massive extra expense. Still. Glad you're OK, Gramps. <laughs> and the little thumbs up, too. Oh, That's shoot. great. We can't stand around all day. But we we still have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. <laughs> Gramps, and also, do you remember? Uh, De Ben zero eight two six in the chat. So it looks like many you're new to the game. Before uh, I definitely recommend it. it. They probably. Uh, fell combat off is thin. honestly like really fun. Mm. It's for me. There's like a lot you can That's do with it. That's not a whole lot to go. It's a really satisfying payoff. Perhaps we would have some. So I recommend getting it, but this is kind of like following the trail of broken trees. Your taste of the story of the game. Let's this go. The story is the main selling point. By the way, Rex. Is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Oh, yeah, Gramps Just never really saw that. what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. <laughs> oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. Rex is riding Gramps all this time, and now Gramps is riding Rex. Yes, we have to find Best Girl. We got some Nia fans out there. Oh. So next, a ripple in the ether. Let's see if we find Nia in this one. Hmm. <laughs> For every nice girl, there is a bitch girl. And Nia's not too bad. I don't know, who would be a bitch girl in this? What's that sound? There's one I could kind of think of, but that's a spoiler. I a ripple in the ether. It feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. I can smell it. Let's go. Okay. And now it's an oh man. Why like the animals in this are My so lady, big. Leave this to me. I'm not just gonna abandon you, Zuma. We saw frog like this big in real life. We're here to help, Mia. Rex! I'm pretty terrifying. What are you doing honestly. here? My lady, now's our chance. Let's attack. Alright then! And now, gameplay. We fight the Frogo. Now, use my editing abilities to cut to after beating the Frogo. To talk later. <laughs> oh yeah, and also the combat in Xenoblade 2 makes more sense if you're familiar with the combat from Xenoblade 1 and uh, Xenoblade X. So why you guys even... As well, I grasped it really easily, I guess that's but other people question. have had a lot of trouble with it. Indeed. Just don't forget things Seriously. when you're taught them. <laughs> it's good to see you. That's what I can say. And you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? <laughs> Surprise! The Titan. He Are got you anime. About me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forg. I'll tell you all Yay, about Forg. it then. Forg. That seems prudent. Here's a big fork. Sure. The fork wasn't too big. And now we're telling stories by the campfire. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Didn't we already explain this? Oh yeah, well, that pirate is here. I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Dromark said that That's you right, I shouldn't be calling it a frog. Because it's a fork. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. This is weird, so calling him Titan when he's So, you like, Titans a foot tall. can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm an advanced Titan. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not <laughs> we found the bitch, am I right? even a shred of sincere remorse? The LaForge should be Nemo? I can't. Oh, we could, um... What? If I am I taking once, the job, if I get partnered at some point with Twitch, then we can pirate. get some more emote slots. We can do that. Also, do Rex. I have a girlfriend? I do. She's not I here though in the stream happen. because she doesn't want to get spoiled. No as way. Blade yet. They can never take her. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, Rex is like, if we didn't get into that mess, how would we have... How would I have touched a chest? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just saying. Gramps, I touched a chest. <laughs> you want to see me do it again? A touch. Oh, we got some plot? Hello there. Still awake, I see. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again. Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. But yeah, a lot of I what this game is, uh, reading through the chat, the um, beginning of the game usually is pretty yes, slow. And I people really not into it might get bored pretty quickly, but... Like, right and here in the story is like know. getting close to like the first major like break what open, do whatever talking? you want part. Is that what you really intend? Yes. <laughs> Hello there. there. My you can't true desire. Just Obi Wan's line. Like, just so many people who say I hello see. there. <laughs> well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. To you touch a chest. And Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? I guess he kind of has to. I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way. Yeah, it is pretty easy to get involved. lost in a game like this. Especially with like, the combat. There's a lot to remember. <laughs> Pyro's other goal is to bang Rex. I see. We already knew Half that. Your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I. Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. And then flies away. <laughs> Gramps is pretty cool. You forgot Sword Bash. Moa. Oh, will you tell me you use Anchor Shot instead of Sword Bash? Like, what kind of strategist are you? Mm. I get rid of Anchor Shot early on for Rolling mm. Smash. It's like, if you right. already have a dedicated healer. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot. A province of the Ardanian Empire. Yes, you must the have seen the Gormod Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance. Well, we're gonna see some of the Ardanians soon. They're good. Around its belly. So, this is Gormod, huh? Hang on oh, a second. Ben is leaving. Mia, Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Are you Gormotty? Eh? Hang on for well the next done, one. Genius. Took you long enough. Gormod. Is the land of my ladies. Oh, by the way, everybody who lives wow. in Gormot is a furry. Well, that's they all have, like, ears and a if lot of facial hair. If you want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. And yeah, Sword Badge really? is backslash. Let's get going. Also, hello, Bad Paul 20 Thank you for following. Welcome, welcome. All right. Next one. For those of you who played the first game, this is like the Gower Plain moment of this game, I believe. Yeah, welcome to Gormot Province. I guess a little clarification of details. The Great Ardanian Empire like owns this place. They've annexed it. And I really want to meet some of the soldiers again because they're just they're they're wonderful people. <laughs> yeah, but when I first did this cutscene. In my playing of the game, it just started like in game, it just started raining like right now, so it kind of ruined the moment. But here you are, Gormot. This is like the Gower plane of this game. It was also like the main place they showed off in the first trailer, so it's pretty, it's pretty big place. Oh, my goodness, what a wonderful Squidward. view! Spectacular indeed. 
Yeah, I know Anchor Shot's good after yeah, the upgrade, this but is there's great. other things that do the same thing. Especially after slumming it on Grumps' his back for At so least long. I kind of did a thing where, like, I make Rex <laughs> entirely an attacker, well he entirely a healer, and, like, we have another entirely tank. Over there, that's so I have the handle all the really healing good. stuff, so... Plus, Rolling Smash has aggro down, down which is pretty helpful, too. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. <laughs> would you say that you can... Oh. You could I'm take them? Of course. Do they think they could take me? I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen with you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. No, because you're a child. I haven't known them very long. You're such a child sometimes. But you know, they're still my crew. Oh, wait, did I miss a touch chest? Your crew? Oh, oh it's like pirate touching her chest. Because she does that animation a lot. Kill you. That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Yeah. <laughs> Nia? <laughs> right. Let's go. Just don't forget them. Once we get to that town over there, we'll we'll meet a few of them, and it's gonna be good. I think next, or is it gonna transition right away? Nope. Next one is Gormot hasn't changed a bit. Clearly, because we've been here. <laughs> Touch chest counter nine ten. But well, you're the one to yeah, uh, you're the one keeping track of that, you know. We'll have it at 10. Oh. But once we meet the Ardanians, I can kind of explain. Because I did the moment of silence thing at the beginning of the stream. So I'll kind of explain more about that as we uh, get closer to it. It's a very sad, tragic tale of a meme killed by the developers. Welcome to so, Toragoth. Toragoth. Didn't want to spoil the name of the town right. early or anything. Nia? But yeah, it's if you nothing. can tell from Nia's cat ears, she's okay, like then. from this place. I'll show you to an inn. Then I'm out of here. So what do you think you doing? Pags oh yeah. Here's my uh, touch chest counter. <laughs> Make that a two. Torgoth. But there's a bustle happening in the town square. Oh yeah, also I'm, I was looking up that pyro figurine. I don't know how you pre-order it though, but I kinda want it to. But here's a little comedic scene. A wanted poster. What the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. No, oh, that was pretty accurate. Remarkable likeness, to say the least. Wait, did you see some there? Uh, oh. no. That's rather odd. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very <laughs> awful. They put Nia's hair on drill mark. <laughs> oh yeah, up the square counter for that. Fie! Who has the courage yes, to heed the are. Empire's call? Those are the Your Armenian soldiers. Heart today. We'll build a strong, more ordained tomorrow. These guys are amazing. Of course, amazing. you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself. Just remember that. And we don't you can even join the nobility. For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and his majesty, Emperor Nile. Come now. <laughs> Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean by potentials? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Oh, <laughs> I saw some people just kind of phase do out of existence it, there. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Oh, he's gonna, us. he's gonna die. Oh, please. He's gonna be our Danny. I, I, I know it's dangerous. And they won't forget him. If I can be, become a driver. Out of the way. Oh. Hip squeak. It's readjusting a little bit. Don't mind me. All right. Come on, oh, please. Kind of Show me what you got. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. Oh yeah, he's a furry too. Oh ho! Oh bark and no bite! What a shame! It's like, oh, he is oh, actually dead. What just happened? All that blood. Couldn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens when someone unqualified touches a core crystal. Truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. What's your Perhaps identification number? Be a better one. Aptitude. No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory yeah, of the Yeah, they're just trying to get more oh, people like them. How about you? What say you? Step forward, sir. It's like a carnival game. Like, step right up. Don't, don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. He's gonna explode too. Oh, he did it. <laughs> At least the screaming is a bit better than Rex's. Attitude. Well, he didn't explode, so that's good. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, he just got a common. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Reroll. Do it again. I did it! I did it! Core crystal turn into a weapon. But this is that how is blades how work, blades everybody. Are born, Rex. What? We can common blade trash. But when I touch Pyra's, not a rare. A Don't take it. Case. Just trash it. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. She's a hacker. All the business with sharing her life force. It's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Rex just or Gramps just stretched out and like started relaxing back there. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's I'm go. not listening. No point sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. Are unique blades spoilers? The I say the identity of unique blades are spoilers, but the fact that there are unique blades, not really. It's the whole thing with bonding with core crystals in this game. It's kind of like RNG pull and. You might get a rare one. That's cool. What's the next one? Resonance is a mysterious thing. We're getting close to the good part with the Ardanian soldiers, and I'm excited for that. I guess technically, Pyra is a rare blade. Well, like, super rare. But those ones, like, you'll pull up a common core crystal and you might get a special blade with a unique identity and all that. Yeah, don't say any of the, um, the rare blades that are story spoilers. This whole like thing good handful with core crystals, touching them to create blades. Touch. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and be. The touch of and a chest. Forms, Up that counter. Come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Like who knew touching Why chests could save lives? Way, now that we'll is something that no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human shaped, <laughs> some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person. Oh, yeah, you can find the guy who does them. The resonance. You just saw in that cutscene. I think I already did a side quest in my game. Mysterious thing. I'm not going to go any gameplay though because everything I can show you would be spoilers though. Pyra. So sorry. She was crying when I met her. Was she brought to life by someone once, just like a normal blade? Hmm. What is the Aegis, really? Halt. Oh, here Nobody they come. <laughs> Those are our favorite soldiers. Oh dear. Looks like Imperial troops. Great. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state. They, they all have the exact same voice, too. That's just crazy. A member of Torna. 
It's her, all right. Garmotti Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. What wanted poster? Both oh, of them. Should mention. See for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Don't wait till after really this Oi, what's it? about to warn uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares? No time if for it looks comic relief. Like hmm. Oh, watch out. No, I <laughs> think we you, one. You look like a driver too. Registration number? Five, three, nine? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No All number means talk. you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. Oh yeah, you all ready for console Dougal? Rex, He's so good. Mark and I are gonna make a move. Get ready to run. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. Wait, what is this? So this is my problem too. One three three seven. Sheesh. I know that's been like a meme or running. something, but what does it mean? Because honestly, I don't know. Thing. Okay, we go. Someone can explain three. that to me. That'd be great. We'll go left. You go right. Okay. Nope. Just give the word. Okay, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? <laughs> One. They're good. Two. Oh, all right, lead. then. We've got them outnumbered. Oh, that Move makes in sense. and take them down. Three. <laughs> now I get it. That's his registration number. And now that is gameplay. You fight those guys. And that's, yeah. Since you're fighting up like against five of them, at least before they patch the game, that's where you get the meme of them constantly shouting their voice lines, and it's hilarious. The next one is Bridget Jewel of Morahardain. Ooh. And what about Weast? Yeah, also I wanted to mention them. Um, they're talking about Torna. That's kind of like a they're on like the underground faction. There's not really many of them, but that's like what Nia is. As like Jin and Malos and all those guys we were with before in Chapter One, they're they considered part so of Torn. Such strength from a measly two fighters. So they're like, kind of shifty right. guys. <laughs> You're Rex, done. No, you got it. I can just hear them shouting now. A wall made of fire. Pyre is fire too. What's this? Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. Oh, lady, Bridget. Bridget? Touch your chimney. Is she a blade? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? But she is a strong. <laughs> lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrissey, the strongest blade in the Empire. Even alone, she's more than a match for you. Lady Bridget, these miscreants are terrorists working for Oh Torn. yeah, Torna's pretty much terrorists. Please terrorist. me your power to bring them to justice. Mm. <laughs> That's not Torna. That emerald core crystal. Could it really be true? Well, well. You got more moves, everybody? You are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger. She's got her like Bring attack on Titan water. swords. The dual swords. And then that is more gameplay. You're up against her and the one like uh Ardanian sergeant. Who just spouts more voice lines, which is great. And now fire and water. Xenoboob too. That's a, that's this game, right? Xenoboob. As the battle with Bridget rages on, and more somewhat unnecessary fan service. I don't know. Maybe it's necessary for some of you out there. I don't judge. You know, <laughs> whatever you're into. Believe <laughs> yeah. you know what the dong. What? She she repelled our attack. The Ardanian guy's still standing too. 
strong. Mm. So was that guy. And this is without a driver. Stop yammering. Just get it. Oh yeah, that's the new, the you know what. <laughs> that's the cocoon stage. Of this is an <laughs> oh yeah, there's this guy. Use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. Even blades have weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, drop <laughs> just kind of thirteen. Get yes. out of here, Rex. Keep keep Save keep yourself. incrementing. I'm not going to do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission. Just move it. Yeah, but... No bets. Go. Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But... You won't escape. Ah! Ah! Rex! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, fucked. Damn it! Yeah, like, what was that? Ah! Water. Well, you know, water no. kind of beats fire. Good thing they were standing in the water. Burning sword. Ah. Hyra. Yes. Oh, how convenient, am I right? Don't let them escape. Get after them. That's right, Max. Run and never look back. Well. To pull that off despite all this water. There goes so Nia, though. The legends of the ages were real. Also, another thing with Xenoblade 2, oftentimes the music is too loud in cutscenes. So, sorry about that. I can't do much about hey, it. Hey! It's like, oh? This way! Friends! Come this way! Tora, help you escape! <laughs> What's going Who on here? You? Quick! No time for explaining! I hope you got the mech counter ready. <laughs> yeah, somebody close that. <laughs> the soldiers won't notice. Thanks. You saved us. Yeah, somebody get the mech counter ready. Why? We're gonna get a lot more out no of this. No reason. No reason. Sorry, that not true. Truth is. Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you <laughs> shot the pipe. You did that it. right. And you're Tora. Yeah, I could adjust the volume, but and this since is this pipe. is the event theater, it's I can so only adjust the sound of voice and cutscenes. And even though for some reason it wouldn't let me adjust it, so. Huh? Uh, actually, Tora I adjusted it in my main game a little you. bit, but. Which is? Hopefully it uses those things. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. Aren't this they way. in the House of Tora? Oh, it's still that way. So now we go to House of Tora, which a lot of times between cutscenes is only like you walk five feet and then another cutscene triggers. So I don't know why they have a break, but. Sometimes it's just like cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. Oh, the color emerald. This is a good one. <laughs> Another reason why the Ardanian soldiers are a meme. Oh yeah, also, yeah, Xenoblade X. The cutscene music was so loud in that game. I think it was like, towards the end of the game, there's just one cutscene where you literally couldn't hear anybody talking at all. Like the music was just way too loud. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for... See, Podrick, do you remember what my orders were? Hey, this is Dougal, huh? by the way. The consul. I told you to capture the blade with the emerald core crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir... It's like the heat miser. She's a member of Torna. I'll say it me. slowly oh. for you, just so we're pose. clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Doodle, sir. What? 
I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. It's like this guy. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! That's like right. this! Green! That's get blue, it, though. you clawed! Oh, green! I get it now! So, emeralds are green. <laughs> you dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically, oh, I believe that's Oh, you're my pants off again. Now that I've been... Silence! Ah. Consul! He deserved it. What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? Yeah, I was busy being the my shit out of this guy. Sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. This, this cannot be happening. Hey, how does the vase not break? And he smashes it over the guy's head. Oh, well. Well, we're about to meet new character, the Special Inquisitor. It's a lot to take in. Look at that thing. Moradin's got some big stuff. You can tell anything's like from Moradin if it looks really industrial. Because that's kind of their thing. But yeah, here she is. And don't forget her either. Just like all the other soldiers. Getting ahead of yourself with the touch chest counter. Careful. That's not. Okay, so now we're back here with Tora. Down here. This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high. He's got up. a floor window. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch Cloud Sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. Sometimes I wonder if like <laughs> this place is even like anyway, legal to have here. Um, Rex Rex. It's Rex, like different Rex. from everywhere else in the city. Rex Rex. Tora explain other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, oh, he just wants to be the cool drivers, kid. But of course, Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One <laughs> Rex, not two. I really gotta start paying attention what to the, point? the the chest well, touching. Well, nothing, I guess. I mean, does it Tora count? This is like his wings are like always kind of like on his chest. What I'm used but. to. Double name just shows his wings are different respect. from arms. Respect for great driver. Rex <laughs> Rex should be proud. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't think his arms are long yet. enough to reach his chest anyway. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? <laughs> his arms? Will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora. Do you know much about this town? This is like huh? the part where um, you wouldn't people happen who to know aren't familiar the with takes prisoners, in the universe of Xenoblade, Rex, uh, you're not planning to learn the mannerisms of Nabon because there's we'll a lot to save near and, and they're weird, but you get used to it. Oh, you talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. You gotta save Nia yeah. or Nier. That's how they say Tora it with the accent. Have to ask around town for info like that. There is an informant, Before though. Before we do anything, time for food! All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish, too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nier and Dromok <laughs> as soon music. as possible. Damn straight. Okay, and then I'll put a little tail, like, <laughs> stubs of, of tails, too. Tell different story. Can I have the little nub I, on Gramps' head I can't head help now? it, can I? Um, if it's all right with everyone... I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. 
But yeah, Nopon are super stingy as well. <laughs> well, as long which as fire is involved, makes sense since they run a trade guild. Anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! If you want ice cream, though, she can cook because she's you fire. I'll get it. Someone else. Well, you can't have everything. They rip ice cream. What's the next? Oh, Lady Morag. She's a pretty good character. Whoa, 20. <laughs> Before Pyro burns down Tora's house, though. 21. Oh. That's 21 chest touches. It's getting crazy. Oh, oh man. man. More this is shows delicious. Up. Stuff starts oh, happening. Yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten cool this cat. well in 120 <laughs> years. Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, it didn't taste but rusty. Tora is curious. Pyra is fire using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make well, I mean, fire. We weren't doused with the, the Come water. To think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but she's the water inferior. seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy called ether. Yeah, yes? Pyra does a lot of chest touches, ether by the way. Comes in forms like, like fire, animation she water, does. And wind. I feel like you're not doing gameplay because she just does it like a million times during the, even the smaller cutscenes. from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so... She got splooshy with water? <laughs> I'm gonna use but that now. And I that way you're talking. Powers with no problem. Indeed. They Bridget were got unfit. a little splooshy. Why? Um, well... My powers don't... Come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. Yeah, he's pretty complicated. <sighs> well, um, uh, 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 it. Knock it off, Tora. Oh, yeah, I never use Pyro's cooking really either. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk Yeah, use it the first time, and then three other right? times because I wanted to get that skill built up, but then I'm just like, I'm yeah, sure fuck it. I ran out of moonbeam bananas. Soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. A little bit, you know. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. It's the boobs. Tora has an idea. Out. We need an Aegis counter too. Special Inquisitor Morag, to what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared it's a really suitable... flamboyant, like, the hip touch thing. stand on ceremony <laughs> We need, like, a hip touch counter, too. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, 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 Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you? Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, your grace. Yeah, Bridget's just sure. Like Good. A bit. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. That's just kind of her, though. I am going to speak Put something less her. revealing on, for God's sake. What? Why do you want... <laughs> Sneaky Dougal. poop. 
I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace, I'll take you to her right away. Hey, get out of my face. He's all up in our grill. We can't have that. Yeah, also, she has her eyes closed like so, the entire time. You are the torn I don't know ruffian. How she I must sees. Say you look a little different from your poster. The only person who knows that. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> he was the Ordainian, guys. Yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends. My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Tona goons friends. <laughs> the goons. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No. Just I that was Rex referring goon. to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Oh wait, she sees wow. with the hair buns? Is that, that canon? Was easy. Hmm. Damn it! I didn't know that. that like Bridget's eye closed thing. Which one of you goons? This looks like it could actually work. Oh yeah, he looked just like a gourmandi with the ears, right. you know. Let's look for friends of Rex Rex. This couldn't possibly go wrong until she takes off the hood like three minutes later. I'm pretty sure she does. Next one is an ironclad plan. I don't know what this one is. Oh, you're making a joke. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> it wasn't the hair buns. I guess she just sees with her mind. That's what happens when your hair is literally on fire all the time. <laughs> oh, is this like a Final Fantasy VII thing? I mean, like, the disguise kind of, like, works, and then, like, she just, like, takes it off. Nia and Dromark executed. Also, between cutscenes, we go out, like, find an informant who's, like, getting information be behind the scenes. Feet. And you We're find out they're planning to do a public execution of Nia and Dromark. Is under heavy guard. So, yeah, that's happening. Here's the map of the city. I guess we'll just have to mount a full-on attack. No, Full Rex, frontal we can't attack. Put everyone in danger. Oh, Fire right. Emblem 7, not Sorry. Final Fantasy 7. Oops. That's an E, not an F. <laughs> there. This is one also, of the welcome Grand Arbor's routes, right? El Mechi 09, correct, if I pronounce that right. It goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here. It looks like some kind oh, of cargo it. entrance. Look at all that, that detail. Could we sneak I don't on know that what way? she's talking about. Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers oh. here. Looks Easy. like this is our only option. Then it's yeah, a plan. she's being kept on <laughs> the Ardanian ship. Tora. Tora have something oh, here to we go. show you. Ready for best character? It's going to be good. Yes. What's this then? Nobody ever see this before. Secret of Torah. The best character in the An game. Artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Torah have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Torah. Uh, Torah has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? <laughs> Surely you just have to try and. Oh. You did, didn't you? <laughs> yes, he one exploded. year ago, Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, somebody get a, a Poppy's cute counter. Because we were, we'll be exploding that thing by the end of this game. Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from <laughs> loss of blood, you know? 
Yeah, but that explodes and dies. Tora just anyway, gets a nosebleed for a few days. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. The nosebleeds anyway, never really hurt me. They just to burn Tora's away. Because they would happen in the middle of the night, but I haven't got one in years, so that's Tora nice. Can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then Dada Pon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, then you were disowned. Blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What Almost. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, oh poppy counter really? zero because we don't have poppy really? yet. Not almost. At all. It's almost poppy Not time. even one gold. So <laughs> you're asking for a loan? Two chess counter in, uh, in one. Not loan. <laughs> um, closer to... Generous donation. Oh, there's that stinginess Just again. Like an upon. Yep. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But 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 if Tora completes hey, artificial mate. blade, Touch combat chest capabilities again. will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than sixty thousand gold. Sixty thousand? Do you want a kidney as well? That's a lot Calm early down, game. Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Oh, wait. Oh, that counts. That was a, that was a chest that. touch. I saw that. Nothing illegal. I hope. <laughs> Don't even joke, Grumps. No prostitution. <laughs> That's this not is right. a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But. No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. Mama! Rex Rex is too generous. So you're gonna wonder why this blade of all, all things Pyro has like super expensive Tora. earrings. Up, leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? No, yeah, probably not. Oh, there's one. There's a chest touch. Yeah, now the whole gameplay going on after this is going through town or going back to the Gormati plane, getting money and then buying the parts in town. And then, yes, the best one, the best cutscene. Yeah, for some people it takes a while. I don't think I took too long in this part because I just sold stuff in order to get up to 60,000. But f yeah, for some people it does take a while. You, you just need to get all the parts and then bring it back. Oh, it's poppy time. Poppy time is always best time. <laughs> it should always be poppy time. Oh, here we go. Also, I do want a poppy counter, please. She is too innocent and pure. <laughs> It's really complete. Very complete. Just need to apply energy charge to activate. Tora, our friend's execution draws near. There's no time to lose. Is she going to die? I know, I know. Oh, okay, artificial blade. It's wakey wakey that time. Won't do, Tora. What, what, what Tora do wrong? You can't keep calling her artificial blade. <laughs> you say As that, creator, but... The least you can do is... Give her a proper name. Oh, um, well... All he does is call her Artificial Blade. Actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away. Now, wakey, wakey. Tora's very own blade. 
died. Oh, Poppy. Poppy. Yes. That's a lot of power. Yes. <laughs> That's doing some weird things with the stereo, left or right. Come here, be of service, master. Like, oh god! <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. This isn't. <laughs> this isn't Wait right. <laughs> Does this count? See that? Tora must change the settings. <clears throat> the settings. Oh, I heard Mr. Krabs in there. What was? <laughs> what was that? This time should be okay. Yeah, just... Second time go best. Fix that. Power. Oh, thankfully, we just got another convenient strike of lightning. Now, for the real poppy. Greetings, Master Pawn. I... I did it! Taurus, masterpiece. World's first artificial blade, Poppy! Oh, she doesn't have boobs, Whoa, so you can't do those incredible. gratuitous boob shots. Really quite Get played. Sweet. Tora did good, huh? You impressed? Tora is a very big success? Absolutely. You're amazing, Tora. Though, I was pretty surprised before, when she was all, <laughs> you know. Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. Th that was, um... Grampy Bon! Grampy Bon Susu made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Bon's fault. Are you sure, Tora? Yeah, yes. it smells like bullshit. Grampy bon. <clears throat> yes! Oh, that's a good reaction pick right there. <laughs> uh, Pirate's face. Hey, hmm. Oh, uh, those are for me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, let's not dwell on that. Rex. Let's go rescue Nia and Drolok. No time to lose. <laughs> Pyro's face becomes the uh, the dowdy emote. <laughs> anyway, I'd be down for that, my honestly. Name Poppy. Poppy, try hard to make Master Pond proud. But yeah, Poppy talks like oh, yeah. not Bondu as well, so that I makes it even better. Think she owns the place. Just because she curries favor with the Emperor. If only I'd got the Aegis myself, I could have returned home in triumph. Or sold her to Bana for a tiny sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick! Uh, yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Round up whoever you can find. There's that Bridget. Mm, We're going to find that Aegis before again. Morag gets her paws on her. So, as you wish, sir. Yeah, what the accents are weird, though. Morag Especially since Dougal rolls as R is a lot, too. Kind of like Banna. Though they're not related at all. What's the next one? Quite the impressive Titan. I guess we're checking out the uh, Ardanian ship then. Oh yeah, because we gotta go in. We gotta save Nia. Oh yeah, also Morag, yeah. Does have a last name of Ledair, but you only hear it like twice in the game. That's the first one. You do hear it in another cutscene. There is Titan warship. Oh, it's a warship, mm, battleship, you know. Quite the impressive What's the difference? Titan. Another sign that Morardin is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look, that route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Yes, yes. We should be able to climb Ooh. down over here. Goes right to the ship. That's kind of like Let's under go. it, but okay. like at least a hundred feet. Off we go. Understood. Yes. Now we got Poppy tagging along. It's gonna get good. Now we actually gonna get down there. 
What, left Gonzalez if necessary? What? What does Gonzalez mean? All right, whatever. Either way, we're getting into the warship. No matter what. These loading times do take a while, though. At least it's not on a disc, so that's not, like, spinning like crazy. Looks pretty high. Give me a moment. We're going up. It looks like, like that hook penetrated like Pirate, steel. you first. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. Oh, that's the the Google. Yeah, I remember that guy. He just sits there and sleeps all the time. I guess he was pretty heavy then. So heavy. What, what did you say? <laughs> that's a little rude. Yow! Now look here, Rex. You can't just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex, a little tactless. <sighs> Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, no she's put a little weight in the. Uh, the oh, mm, she's how long she's been sleeping sure. in that coffin? But that just means pirate grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Pirate or you just do this. I don't know, Poppy would be pretty heavy too. Poppy, pull Pyra up. Please, grab again. No, you got like the real man. That is Poppy. <laughs> nice, Poppy. Poppy, <laughs> artificial blade. This is no problem. Poppy, That's why Poppy's the best. If necessary. Oh, yep. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt her, honestly. Hey, all the weight in pirates are poops. I mean, that's the theme of all this, isn't it? Now we are in. Well, the next one is feel blade like wave in air, I believe. So that sounds like something Poppy would say. But we made it into the battleship, or the warship. And we're looking for Nia. Which is what's going on now. Blueish counter. Master Pond. Oh. Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Probably Bridget. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave in air. Huh. I'm not sure I get it, but maybe oh, yeah. Dromark is nearby. Dromark, that's it. Let's try opening up Could some of these Bridget. doors. You know. Maybe. Well, drill marks around here, but we don't know if Nia is. Oh, well, thanks. Thank God my food is here. We're passing around the poppy counter. I noticed in the chat. Keep the poppy counter alive. Um, I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Everyone, check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. Or literally all it's hard of Dromark. to judge the power sometimes. Pyra, Rex. What what is going on with Dromark. his mouth there? It's good to see you alive. It very good. See, Master Pond, there was a blade here. Master Titan, and forgive me, but who are they? Oh, I just noticed Dromark is like smoking off the side of his head too. Dromark, we don't have much time. Do you know where Nier is? Yeah, but Club 64. We are in We're doing like a story all, kind of thing. I feel her presence. If I did any gameplay, it'd be then like let's go. spoilers everywhere, so we I can't, can't really do that. Get executed. So I said we're going through the story. Indeed. This way. Also for people who've never played the game before, or don't plan on playing the game, so you can just have the story. So we kind of like make fun of the cutscenes a bit too. Take care of the guards. Yes, the guards. <laughs> oh, I love these guards so much. Maybe it's just because they all have the exact same accent and the exact same voice. <laughs> I do like the counters in here. 
got like a touch no chest counter. Logic. That's the place. There was a mech counter. You I don't people? know if we're doing that. The terrorist friends. We are her friends. We got the poppy counter. Call her a terrorist. Yeah, you play the game already? What? If you'd like, you can relive the story with us. It's fun. Well, that was a shortcut scene, but yeah, now you're fighting guards. Behind bars. I think Neo was there. We'll see. So for some reason, I keep feeling like I got this really big bump on my head. I don't know why, but check that out later. Thankfully, my hair covers up stuff like that. Oh man, that is a sad Nia picture. Oh. Hi, Jin. Jin? You all right, Nia? <laughs> That's not Jin. Go away. Rex, you... My lady, apologies for my late arrival. Don't mention it. I didn't think anyone was coming at all. As if we'd leave you. <laughs> Always There's a help chest those crying on my you. head. That's the second rule of the salvage. Up the chest code. touch counter. Well, that's you all over, ain't it? Rex, Rex! Tora has found escape route! Hurry, hurry! And not by. <laughs> he has been of some assistance. We made a new some. friend. Uh, Wait, don't forget Poppy. Nice to meet you. Well, I think we've overstayed our welcome yeah. here. <laughs> Time to get moving. There's some new people here. And yeah, Drone Mark's accent, acting like a, a butler. It's this irrefutable logic. Yes. There's so much good stuff back like earlier in the game that I, I forgot, like the further you get along. Because it's it's an 80 hour game, so like I'm not gonna remember all of it. Imagine doing this for like a let's play style kind of thing. Like, if episodes are 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Even 20 minutes, at least for every episode. That'd be like uh, over 200 parts for a Let's Play. That's like insane. <laughs> not so fast, my dear intruders. Letting a terrorist from Torna out of my grasp would make me look very bad indeed. So what the hell oh, kind of that blade emerald is that? Core crystal. You must be the Aegis. Much as it pains me to admit it, it seems Borag was right on the money. You know who Pyro is? Are you trying to capture her too, you rat bag? You rat bag. No, no, language. But of course, the most powerful blade in all of history, with the power to rend all rest asunder. Only a fool would know of that power and not seek to claim it. And I am no fool. Therefore, I will claim her as my own. You cannot argue with such logic. Flaw detected in final step of logic. Sorry, pal. But you've done all the capturing yeah, you're gonna do uh, today. For Xenoblade 2 video. For a dirty terrorist. That's kind of thinking of that, but like... Let's go! Pyra! Once Fire. you get past a certain point in the game, there's like... an appearance thing. That's a spoiler that you can't really avoid showing. So... I wasn't really thinking I would do a Xenoblade 2 video now. Until they come out with New Game Plus. Because then I could kind of do like earlier game stuff and that's part of the dlc and i think that's coming out really soon so i might do that but not right now <laughs> yet not yet hiding behind his blade but yeah you fight dougal is like the first phase of his fight but all he does is run uh, is like run from you and fire a few shots with a rifle but yeah, if i had a spoiler warning in the video like i wouldn't want to alienate people who don't want the spoilers Oh, New Game Plus is a free update. Oh, okay. That I'm gonna do something in New Game Plus then. Just hiding behind his blade. And avoiding what? like Does other spoilers. You? A blade can regenerate from any injury. Whereas if I die, my blade will return to a useless core. Well, it's like his blade so doesn't care. To use them as a living shield. You weasel. Even if he can regenerate, that doesn't mean blades don't feel pain. <laughs> How cute! The flea bag thinks we should care about Blade's feelings! <laughs> I wonder if you can feel pain! Yeah, what an asshole.
Do I know the way? I do not. I don't even get that meme, you know? <laughs> All that, like, Ugandan knuckle stuff. Like, I don't really get it. But that's just me, you know? And here is the best lines. <laughs> you must have forgotten about Poppy, though. Poppy has the best lines. How? A mangy flea bag and a bunch of stinking kids? I triumphant return to more Arden with the Aegis. Yeah, Dougal's not going anywhere. Out like a light. That's what he gets for trying to execute Nia. What? He was trying to take me back to more Arden. <laughs> Surprise, she's not Rex, actually getting executed. This is a trap. A trap? No, you're a trap. <laughs> Uh, uh. So they weren't actually going to execute you. There was no a time, time when I thought that. Talk later, actually. Rex Rex. We should escape. Master Pawn is right. Chance of reinforcements very high. Knuckles sings is haste. better than you got. Is that another They're Knuckles meme? Town would be a good start. I don't know. I'm not up to date. Usually until people like drill it into my head. What these memes are. And now we're escaping the warship, but <laughs> hold on, something happens. It's like before the thumbnail spoils and all that, we gotta at least get to it first. Also, just wondering, uh, there's like the voice popping issue is not happening, right? Just to make sure that all that's still working. Also. I do not understand what that is. Is that Japanese or it's no? Not, is that Spanish? I don't understand Spanish. By the way, Morag is back. With her attack on Titan Swords. And Bridget with her fan service. And with a driver to no the voice time. Popping. Excellent. I seem That's to have fixed the Morag, issue. The flame That's good. Bringer. Morag. <laughs> Special Inquisitor Morag of Morardane. Morag the most powerful driver in the Empire. And wielder of Bridget, the most powerful blade. So together they're like ultra powerful. It looks like <laughs> they're, they're were waiting for us. Yes, indeed. I did feel like we got away. <laughs> oh shit! It's I don't know why I expected Dougal to slow you down at all. It was you, right? You're the one who spread the rumor that I was going to be executed, just to lure Rex and the others here. Oh, smart! You catch on quickly. Yes. You certainly proved useful. However, Rex and Pyra are the real price. <laughs> Not quite. The Emerald Core Crystal <laughs> is the sign of the Aegis. If that blade is indeed the Aegis, maybe. Then there's something I must do. <laughs> Stab a Jin style. The power to sunder all rest itself. I cannot allow that to happen again. Hyra destroyed the world. Don't be so stupid. You mean you didn't know? 500 years ago, during the Aegis War. Oh, here's some backstory, everybody. The Aegis sank three continents to the Cloud Sea's bed. Three titans destroyed. I speak not but historical fact. I'm on to you. You want to use Pyra as some kind of weapon. We're not going to let you do that. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. And what if we resist? Then I will have to restrain Not swords by anymore, force. are they? In that case, like apparently I'll make swords this and nice at the same time. and clear. You will Pretty cool idea. never take her! Oh, nice. <laughs> then let's see if you have the strength to back up those words, boy. And then boss battle with more egg happens. It's going down, boys. What's next? Her flame is hide something deeper. Well, at least the boss battle happened.
Now we get to see the aftermath of this when you win. Where is Shulk? Sorry, Shulk's not in this game. This is the sequel. If you want Shulk, go back to the first game. Well, the first game also had really good cutscenes and uh, story and all that. But it doesn't have Poppy. What? Pyra! Oh yeah, this, this is after the boss fight, but... It's kind of like during the boss fight. It burns! Stubborn child. Why don't you just give it up? <laughs> Smash forward Shulk first debuted. Totally. I do know how to do some good fight scenes, though. You'll never get Pyra. Just maybe scream a little bit better. She's more than just the Aegis or some kind of weapon. She's a living being. <laughs> oh, there's the music again. <laughs> Bad scream count. We we'll get another one. Honestly, Pyra, for the next one we do this, I'm honestly tempted to um have little counters on the screen for this kind of stuff. Help her. I'm not gonna let yeah, you I just like press a button to increment each one. I'm really tempted to do that. So I might for the next stream. This is getting tiresome. <laughs> That'd be fun. The power of the Aegis is formidable, but the driver's skill betrays her. He's a noob. Stay vigilant, Morag. An unknown power lurks within this bow. I don't know, it's of kind course. of the Aegis or something. This blade he calls Pyra. Your flames burn far stronger than hers. I mean, like, touch chest but counter wouldn't go away. It'd just be like, it would be in the, the overlay. Is everyone now, like, you guys tell me when to increment right. it by like, keeping the count, too. I have little pictures for it, too. Those two, very strong. I know. At this rate, we'll never... There has to be a way. Some kind of... Maybe we fire. have to know the way. Oh, We've gotta find water. I mean, troll marks a water blade. Why don't use that? There. Or water tower. Guys, are you ready to run? Hmm? Sure. <laughs> Q, you me. say run. Ah, there they are. Wait, how'd they? Pyra, oh, she can you manage a full powered blast? Yes, maybe one or two. That'll do. Ah! Oh. <laughs> this, that, that wasn't Take really this. a bad scream. Yeah! Okay, that was. <laughs> boy. I think the first one was okay. That one was like, ah! okay. You're like, what, 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 why? Oh, look at that. The plan. Look who's talking. Oh, you can't pull Pyro up. How is he supposed no. to pull a water tower? Oh, Rocket yeah. Pocket. He gets Poppy. Oh, <laughs> it's easy for Poppy. The water time. So that's their plan. So you guys know I'm probably gonna be doing these um oh <laughs> little flower photo bomb. I'll be doing these cutscenes mainly in like daytime and clear weather. Unless it dictates otherwise. Like some of them you have to play at night. You think they've given Morag enough time to get out of the way. But rip the crops. Big shit. But where'd the water go? But then there's that. Yeah, Morag and Bridget should have just run. I mean, they, they were pulling that thing for a good, like, minute. 
with easily enough time. Well, there's my finishing move. And all the crops are dead. As well as those two. Just kidding, they're fine. I feel slighted. How so? They actually held back against me in battle. Monado Buster. You think that boy did you not see? I feel like Morgan Bridge would probably hate the beach. Blow, but he averted his aim. He did have good instincts, too. Well, they could have killed her. And I'm going to help her. I'm not going to let you stand in her way. The Aegis. If she is traveling with that boy, perhaps it is worth letting them roam free for a while. You You'll mean... think so. We'll cross <laughs> paths Bridget again. doesn't like being wet. And when we do, we shall see. Pan over to Torgoth. Remember, fade to black. There it is. Now there's another part of the cutscene, though. They're running up to Gonzales. Do they want to deal with them? I don't think them? they're following us. Perhaps we're safe for now. You're right. We should get some rest. I can't go any further. Ah, oh, Tora is pooped as well. <sighs> See you later. Well, we are grateful for all you've done. We wish you well on your travels. Farewell. Yeah, this part of the cutscene is only available at night. There's some cutscenes later on too. I want that, like, to reach Elysium. Require what? you to start at night and stuff like that. I made a promise. I'm taking Pyra to Elysium. It's just... She gave half of her life to save mine. I owe her. Oh, Rex. But half the world seems to be after her. Hmm. Amazing stat character. With the titans dying off. Living spaces Don't exactly running know what you're talking about, but That's no spoilers yet. Wars. That's how we get there. And people need weapons to fight wars. I think I know who you're talking That's about. Why they and that won't be until the next chapter where we first meet the character. If I can prove Elysium exists, maybe I can stop Half the wars inside coming. Her. But Ooh. fighting Morag taught me something. I'm not strong enough. I can't do this alone. Mia, you're chest. a driver. We could really use a companion <laughs> like you. Just get him out of the way. If you wanted. Elysium. Do you really believe in that myth? But Tora gets own counter. Well, Pyra told me that she was born Poppy's there. Poppy's just kind of hiding. Yet here she is. So it must exist. Right? <laughs> Your logic is almost as good as Dougal's. Listen, Rex. I don't know if you're stupid or just too nice for your own good. But what if Pyrus just lie in? What if this is all an act and one day she turns around and stabs you in the back? Pyra wouldn't do that. <laughs> of course I wouldn't. I don't have a knife. So hey. Serious. She... <laughs> <laughs> Tor made a squeak when he got pushed away. I didn't hear anything, An but... An emerald core crystal is, not is the great sign right now. of the Aegis, huh? Sure, <laughs> why not? This could be interesting. Really? My it's gonna be good. I kinda wanna see this Elysium for myself now. Maybe it really does exist. It does. An endless field of green among the clouds, huh? And strippers everywhere. The are true. Even people like me. Let's go find it. I think we're nearing the end of the chapter, too. Just trying to think about, like, what else there is. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. It I'm fucking fine. hurts. See? I can swing it like this, and it doesn't even... Because I'm trying to think, like, most chapters, like, all of them, except it. for one, really, end with, like, a major boss fight. 
Thanks. So I think that Morag boss fight might have been I the one to end better, chapter two. Which is this one. I'm sure that's me as Poultice doing its job. Elysium is Dinger's iCloud storage. Thanks. The twist is that it wasn't actually full this whole time. Cool. Lyra, you hurt, hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a, it's just a, just a flesh wound. Hey, let me help. You ready for the wholesomeness? Thank you, Rex. No worries. <laughs> the Least touch. I can do. Touch. Where's the touch? Do I have to follow you around all day? There. All done. How's that? If only your like hmm. gauntlet wasn't Looks in the way. Good. Um. Rex? It's just a torso wound. Oh, touch! Touch! <laughs> it's happening. Look, they're the same. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they hey, are. You could be talking about a lot of things <laughs> right now. I don't want to make any, any assumptions. <laughs> when a girl approaches you, touch, touch. That was comfortable. Not really. That doesn't look comfortable, though. Yeah, that's like maximum comfort when you're so laying on an fun. animal. Yeah, it really is. I guess that's There's a lot of touches these cutscenes, you know. Huh? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just um really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do. The snap. Oh, that's an artistic shot. Who orchestrated that one? <laughs> we are not seeing fireflies. <laughs> Even if... I don't know. Look at that, there's a world tree uh, back there. That's nice. And that is the end of the chapter, okay. Aptitude. So, I think that's where I'm going to end off the stream, actually. If I did chapter three, we'd be going on like past midnight, and I don't know, I still got to eat. So, oh. So, you guys get down to do this again, like next Saturday or something? Next weekend, we can continue with chapter three. Probably just do three and four. Maybe this extra time we could do five as well, but we'll see. I know five is a bit of a short one, but. Three and four are pretty hefty chapters. But yeah, thanks for coming on out. Hope you enjoyed. I'm enjoying going back through these cutscenes. I was going to do this anyway, just rewatch all the cutscenes in the game. But like, why not do it with you guys too? We got the counters and stuff too. It's all fun. So yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Let me just <laughs> switch the, the scene again. Goodbye.